We are going to validate the expiration of the password reset link. The password reset link should only be valid for 15 minutes. Let's update the method for handling the reset form. If the token is older than 15 minutes, the user should be redirected to the forgot password page with an error message. Next, we'll add an additional message below the reset button. Now, let's test it. As you can see, the password reset link was sent successfully. By checking the database, we can see a new record for the reset password token in the relevant table. We've also received a new email. Notice, the email includes a message informing the user how long the link is valid. The email was sent within a few seconds. Let's wait for 15 minutes to test the expiration. Now, 17 minutes have passed since the email was sent. Let's click the reset password button. As expected, we receive an error message indicating that the password reset link has expired. We'll need to request a new link. As you can see, the token value has been updated. We've received another email with the new reset link. Since this email was just sent, the link is still valid. Great, I can now reset my password. The password was successfully changed.
The reset password token record was deleted from the database after the password was updated. We also received a new email. The email contains the updated credentials, including the login ID and new password. Now, we can log in using the new details. Friends, I hope you learned how to validate a password reset link. See you in the next video.